Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to switch your Microsoft account to a local account in Windows 11. So this is not the same as adding an additional local account. Uh, we have a video on how to do that. So this is actually converting your existing Microsoft account to a local account, and then we'll show you how to switch it back. So you're not going to have two accounts, you're just going to have the one once you convert it here. So to do so, because so this is uh, Cindy Sims we're working with here, go to the settings, then you want to go to accounts, and you see this is the, our Microsoft account, even though it's a Gmail address. You want to go to your info, and then there's a section here for Microsoft account. Sign in with the local account instead, so you want to click on that. So this is, are you sure you want to switch to a local account? Click on next. So you need your current PIN or password for your Microsoft account. So we'll call this uh, Cindy Local. And we'll make up a password here. Do our hint. Now it says you're almost done. Make sure you save your work and sign out and so on. So sign out and finish. Okay, so now we have, you can see that the Cindy Sims is now Cindy Local here. So I'll put in the uh, pin for the previous Microsoft account there, or password if you're using the password. So now, when we go to our user accounts here, go to your info. You can see it's Cindy Local with a local account and she's an administrator because she was an administrator when she was a Microsoft account as well so it's kept the settings for uh, keeping an administrator on the computer but you can see it's a local account so now you, you, know, you could use it as a local account instead of a Microsoft account if you need to do things you know using that type of an account so now to switch it back you just go back here the same section and you click on sign in with Microsoft account instead okay you put in the email address you were using with that Microsoft account password you were using with that account, so make sure you know this information. And the current Windows password that you're using. Okay, then it wants to set up the Windows Hello with a PIN. So use the PIN you were using before. Okay, so now we're back as the administrator on a Microsoft account, and you might see this thing here where it wants you to verify your identity to sync passwords across your devices, so that's up to you if you want to do that or not. Otherwise, you could just get the email of code sent to you, then you'll be good to go on that part, but I'll skip that because you should be able to do that on your own. So now we're back to a Microsoft account, and when you come back here, you have the option to sign in with a local account again. So once again, just go to accounts, your info, and then sign in with local, go through the steps, and if you want to go back, just go through the steps, and then you'll be back to your Microsoft account. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.